So here we have the Mercedes-Benz A180 on a 21 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you inside the car to run through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dial. So we have uh, the main speedometer, as you can see in the middle there, and a digital readout for the speedometer as well. Within that are the total miles of this car. They are 28,924. To the right-hand side of the speedometer, you can see uh, that it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, and we are in park at the moment, of course. You can change the way in which the information is displayed up here. You can also uh, have any of these pieces of information displayed in the center. So styles is where you will change how these dials look. So if you want sport, for example, you can see that that now looks completely different to how it did a moment ago. You can also then access uh, things like, for example, having your satellite navigation information displayed in the middle. If you have uh, a destination in there, uh, you'll get a proper sat-nav display. Uh, those controls are just here. So this black button, we've got a home button there that will take you back to that main menu. And if you scroll across here, you'll see it scrolls up on the main screen as well. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have exactly the same controls. They work in exactly the same way as these but they are for the central display, which we'll come to in just a moment. We've also got stereo controls over that side. And then on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Just behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus paddles are so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then over in the center, you have the main screen for the car. So again, as I said, exactly the same uh, button layout as we had before. And you can go through any of the systems that are up on there, again, using that swipe button that I showed you a moment ago, and you can see the satellite navigation properly there. Um, really nice, easy system to use. We've done a full video showing how Mercedes-Benz satellite navigation system works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. You can access your radio, of course, here, and you have DAB radio available there too, uh, and your own music under the media heading. And as you can see at the top, we have USB input, Bluetooth audio as well, and online music available. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. It's also worth noting that you don't have to use the controls on the steering wheel. Down here, we have buttons that take you directly into certain menus, and then you have this pad. This works like a track pad on a laptop. So again, you can swipe and you can hear it swiping, but you can see it swiping just there as well. If there's an option you want to go into, you swipe to it, push this button down, you're then in that, in that menu. Um, that's the volume for the stereo there, incidentally. You've got your home screen, you can go back a page from there, and this is far easier to use whilst the vehicle is in motion. It's very intuitive, really nice um, controls, uh, really pleasant to push. They work uh, fantastically, actually. Uh, so exactly the same controls as on the steering wheel. You'll get the same results, uh, say, just easier whilst you're driving. In the middle of these two uh, bits that I've shown you, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the driver temperature, the passenger temperature, and the fan speed from here. You can turn your air conditioning on, same button will turn it off again, or you can hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking control of uh, the direction of the air and also the fan speed as well. Any uh, adjustments you wanna make to it, you can do, but you can also turn the system off as I have just there. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.